Baseball, oh baseball, I can't get enough. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Barrel of Podcast. This is your friendly host, Jean Carlos, and tonight we are going to talk about the upcoming season and some players to watch. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel Barrel Up Podcast. Follow us on Instagram, Barrel Up underscore baseball. Like this video, comment down below. Guys, thank you so, so much for all the support. As we are 1,186 and counting subscribers, that is all thanks to you guys, to the sharing of the content, to the commenting, helping the algorithm, all to all the baseball fans around the world. This program is for you. This podcast is for you. Follow us on Anchor and on Spotify as Barrel Up Podcast to not miss this and other episodes via audio. So the topic I have for you guys today, as we near the 22, uh, 2022 regular season, there's a couple of days left of spring training, right? Is the top five players offensively to watch in the 22 season, 2022 season. This is my list, my top five. I want you guys to comment your list down below and leave your comments, leave your thoughts. Think about it. Top five offensive players for the year 2022. Predictions, what you guys think. Here we go. This is my top five. Number one. Actually, let's start with number five. My number five is going to be Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon, as we all know, last year had a very productive year with the Toronto Blue Jays. He is now in the Texas Rangers signing a multi-year deal in the offseason, right? Marcus Simeon had numbers of the following. He had a 265 average, 45 home runs, 102 RBIs in the year 2021, finished third, actually finished second, no, no, finished third, yep, finished third in the MVP voting for the American League, and in my opinion, he is set to have a, another breakout season as he is in his prime, this guy is an RBI machine, um, has a lot of power, hit 45 bombs, and now has his counter, his uh, double play partner, uh, Corey Seager, that is going to be magnificent to see those two and how they feed off each other. Marcus Simeon is a sound hitter, ready to impact the Texas Rangers lineup, and we shall see what he does. He's my number five. Number four, we have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., okay? In this spring, he has already hitting for an average of 375, two home runs, and four RBIs. 375, two home runs and four RBIs, finished second in the MVP voting for American League. Uh, we all know that Shohei Otani won it, but his numbers were outstanding. Hit 48 home runs last year, won a Silver Slugger Award. Uh, very, 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 off, very good offensive player at a, such a young age. He did say last year was just a trailer. Stay in tune for the movie. Those were his words this year. So it is going to be exciting to see what Vladi Jr. has to give us this year. If he stays healthy, which we all hope he does, can he hit 50? That's the milestone for this year, 50 or more. That's what I'm projecting, right? Number four, that was Vladi Jr. Number three, number three, arguably the best hitter in baseball. Arguably the best hitter in baseball, we have Juan Soto. Juan Soto has put up an average of 286, one home run, and three RBIs in this uh, short spring training. We all know the type of power. We all know the type of player he is. He finished second in MVP voting in 2021. And now he has the veteran Nelson Cruz right to his side to give him some more tips on how to better his uh, hitting apparatus. But we all know the sound hitter that Juan Soto is expected to have incredible numbers this year. And also just... Uh, signed uh, a deal for this year, avoiding arbitration for um, uh, something along the lines of, what was it, $19 million? $19 million for one year? Deserved. Very good choice for 2022, as he is my number three offensive player. Let's see what happens. Going up the list, we have, um, let me see, Wander Franco. Wander Franco is my number two. We have Wander Franco. I have, him, I have him as number two. 
Wander Franco did not play a full year in Major League Baseball, but already impacted his team and the game very, very, in a very big way. Wander Franco hit 288 in the regular season in, you know, the um, short elapse of games. He had an outstanding postseason, hitting four home runs in that postseason. Wander Franco has now a brand new year, 162 games to play. It is going to be very exciting to see how Wander Franco finishes off the year. A lot of high expectations for the kid as he mounts shortstop for the Tampa Bay Rays. He is a five-tool player, gap-to-gap hitter in, in what we saw in, in, in that short of time in 2021. And it's he's on my list on, for number two for the 2022 season. It is going to be exciting to see what this young kid can do with the stick in 2022. Last but very not least, we have Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor is my number one player to watch, number one offensive player for the year 2022. Has a chip on his shoulder, had an offseason with the uh, Mets last year, but he did manage to strike some power numbers, even if he had an off season. When I say off, is something that we don't usually see from uh, the great Lindor. He hit 20 home runs, even though he had an off season. The reason why I have him number one on my list is because he has – He's playing with a chip on his shoulder and he's showing it all out on the field in this short spring training. Even though it's short, we have Francisco Lindor um, with an average of 412, three home runs and six RBIs. He just hit two yesterday uh, from the right and left side. So he's showing power numbers early in the spring. Hopefully he can translate that to the season. So these are my top five players. Five, Marcus Simeon. Number four, Vladdy Jr., right? Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Number three, Juan Soto. Number two, Wander Franco. And number one, Francisco Lindor. This is my list. This is my analysis. These are my breakout offensive players for the year 2022. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what's your top five. Comment, like, and share. Share this content to all your baseball fans, all the friends that love baseball, and just Leave it all on the comments. Leave it all in the comments as we see uh, that baseball is back. Uh, baseball is back for year 2022. And these are my top five. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is your boy, John Carlos. Leave it down in the comments. I am going to be commenting and responding back. Thank you. And we'll see each other soon.